Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! Open up! I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! You dead fucking bastards! Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the goddamn really door Stop. down! It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Alright. I guess we should talk to everyone. Especially right now. Keep morale up or something. They got caught you in duck, Lee. Those fuckers had my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Lee, settle down. Alright. I kinda understand Kenny's point of view. not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Come on. Try us out. Come Poor on, Lily. Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention so I can fucking kill them. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge, even after I saved your fucking life. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. There's more of us on the way! Man, Larry, what? can't we just come to terms? Pretty heavy. Oh, Think help. we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. They're not gonna open All right, the door. uh, man, Clementine, we need to talk to you. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Dad, this isn't All helping. Right. Right. Don't want to know what kind. We gotta figure a way I'll out. Break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. No. Dad, come on. Dad. Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come oh, on. Man, can he forgive Lee. me? Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. You're putting what? all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're fucking Three. worthless, Lee. Four. No! 
Kenny! I'm so, what the fuck? I'm so, I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> You okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I'm at a loss of words, viewers. I really am. I'm sorry. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Kenny, you're kind of being a little necessary. bit of a jackass. I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Poor Clementine. Oh, man. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. All right, we gotta get MacGyver our way out of this. I'm sorry. Kenny, do you have any coins? Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Oh man. Um. Please, I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help and Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. Yeah, that's right. He did say that he had 60 cents. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Alright, um, how about his back pocket? Huh, he still carried his wallet. Alright, um, front Here one, we front one. Two quarters. And a dime. Guess he really did have 60 cents. 
Okay, I think we can McGovern our way out of this now. Move these screws and get this unit off. Alright, let's see. Uh, ah! Can okay. These screws. The AC should come down easily. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, Beers. I'm still a little shooken up. That was, uh. That was really shocking. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Man, Kenny, you you need to calm down. I mean, like you were so likable in Chapter One. Now you're kind of becoming a little bit of a jerk. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Okay, I guess the time to grieve is over. I got we got action time. With sickle. Oh man, is this choose your weapon to defend yourself? Meat charts. Oh man. That was informative. Jars. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, I don't really wanna know what's inside them. Um God, so. what's wrong with these people? They're pretty sick. That's why I got a sickle to deal with them. Don't really want that. Sickle is a lot more sick, if you know what I mean. That's uh That's how we deal with sick people, you know. I mean, we can't have Mr. Axe. It doesn't seem like Mr. Axe is going to be making his Jesus. second debut. Jesus, the butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. Well, I guess second debut is a little bit of an understatement. Third? I don't know. I'll take the mini cow prod. I like the idea of electrocuting them rather than chopping their limbs off. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. That's a terrible plan, but I guess we really don't have any choice. <laughs> 